How you doing? How you doing? This is for Governor Larry Hogan. I want access to the grand jury, Governor. I want to expose the corruption and the racism in the courts in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. I want to hold Scott Schellenberger, Judge Turnbull, Judge Janae accountable. I want a federal investigation. Like I said, this is like the third. This is I do this because of the Thirteenth Amendment. Under the Thirteenth Amendment, you reinvented slavery under the Thirteenth Amendment. So today I'm going to educate you. This is for the governor's office of volunteerism because this is free. This is a free event. It don't cost the city nothing. It's a free space. It's an art space. It's a safe space. It's a space to grow and develop. You feel me? Mike, check! Famous for that shit. Famous for toilets. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. Jobs and justice. And it ain't gonna be just us today. We'll give you a walk around the truck because it's getting ready to rain, but this is waterproof. And I'm gonna be here after the rain is gone. We're gonna fire the grill up. In the shadow of the church. You feel me? Y'all know where I'm at. 21 20 2021 St. Paul Street. Y'all seen me all week cooking for the teachers. Cause like I said, I have ties to Baltimore. My volunteerism, my work in the community. You feel me? And my work in the community is based behind food. Food in the conversation. You feel me? Food in the conversation. And I'm ready. Cooking with wood. We good in the hood. I cook all year round. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. That's my storyboard. So like I said, Shorty's Bootleg Barbecue. Art and activism. And I'm very active in my community. We're talking about the 13th Amendment. We're talking about the war on drugs and the illegal incarceration. We're talking about the 13th Amendment. And I'm going to show you how the Baltimore City gets paid. I'm going to show you how bought by the state of Maryland get paid. Free Keith Davis. Y'all been holding him for a long time for crimes he didn't commit. Hogan, Rutherford. I told y'all to get y'all signs out my neighborhood because y'all had them on North Avenue and y'all didn't come in my community. You don't come in my community, but you want to incarcerate my community. You want to give opioids in my community a pass, but you want to incarcerate heroin and cocaine in the war on drugs. Stop the illegal incarceration of black America. And it's going to start here. And I'm going to use my grill to do it. That's how we're going to have this conversation. Food in the conversation. And we're going to do it right here in the park. Growth and development. Ain't no law against making a movie. But y'all going to stop killing us. I am Trayvon Martin. We're talking about the teachers and the teachers union. Education. We against police brutality. Tyrone West. Artists and the money behind the art industry in Maryland. Police accountability. You feel me? And we're going to talk about the real news. Angry black man. Black Lives Matter. Angela Davis. I love the arts. And this is the arts. That's the dinner. This is going to be the movie. We're doing the 13th Amendment. And we're going to show it up on this wall. We're going to put everything on the table. You feel me? We're going to go from left to right. This county executive Kamenetz. All right? Kevin Kamenetz. He died. He couldn't deal with this. We're going to talk about this. Email. Chicago FBI. Baltimore FBI. WGN News. We're going to talk about how you shield the corruption and the racism in your courts. You might want to need to contact my brother. All right? Contact Mr. McGee, the director of parole and probation. All right? It's like I said, I was making a movie. The movie's called Letters to Zion. And it's going to really detail the 13th Amendment. We're going to show you how Governor O'Malley been selling out Black Baltimore. Taking our kids for photo ops and locking them up. You feel me? We're going to talk about your board of elections and the money involved in your elections. We're going to talk about Aisha Khan. You feel me? 
I'm gonna talk about your elected officials, Mary Washington. You feel me? We putting everything on the table because I don't want nobody to say that they didn't know about this. We talking about civil rights violations because you kidnapped me for making a movie. This was a piece of evidence, artwork and evidence. My producer is Rob Fix. These are the cases that we was talking about. Because like I said, Illinois, Maryland, evidence. That's Mark, February the 2nd, 2000. You see it? February 11th. February the 2nd, 2011. State's Attorney's Office. Y'all had this. It's an interstate compact. I'm property, just like Dred Scott. And y'all stole me. You kidnapped me. Because I was getting ready to go to Vegas to bury my mother. You called me a terrorist. Because I was terrorizing you with toilets. 2009. Dear Judge Turnbull. I want Judge Turnbull, Judge Souter, Judge Janae, Judge Papaya, Scott Schellenberger. I want them investigated for fraud in the court. To whom it may concern. The movie about you, Gov. Ceasefire program from 2006. That's Governor O'Malley. That's Governor Blagojevich. They're threatening to kill us. That's the kind of news in the media you were putting out in the streets about me. You feel me? The lies that you were telling. So we're going to tell the truth with this case right here. Due process and equal protection. That's the case right there. That's going to tie all of this together. I'm going to put it on the wall. I want access to the grand jury. I want access to the grand jury. That's Eugene Bush. That's... The speaker Bush and he ain't here no more so his, the replacement got to deal with this that's teller branch delegate branch bridges all right the Maryland Black Caucus what's the color of justice it's the collateral consequences of locking us up all I want is what belongs to me your father destroyed evidence so I put you up here so you can see it 13 steps just like a recovery, like an addict. 13 steps. Silence is condoned police violence. Silence condones police violence. And y'all silent. My public officials are silent. Y'all ain't doing nothing. But if you go directly to Antonio Hayes, he got something for you. And you can't hide from it. No matter how you try to deny it in public, you tied to this. You can't protect the corruption. You can't protect your protectism. You feel me? You need to be out of office. Because you a main character in this racism. Like I said, Chicago FBI, we want all of y'all. Anyone can produce and star in a video. That's the Department of Justice. All right? Shorty Davis. I'm getting ready to cook y'all up. Y'all going after Mayor Pugh? Well, I want all of y'all. I want the other 52. That's Governor Hogan's Office of Community Service. And I do a lot of service in the community. Dinner and a movie is part of my service in the community. I didn't get the 2019 Open Society Award. I didn't get that grant, that fellowship. So I'm going to drop this storyboard off to him to show you that I'm going to still do the work in the community. I'm going to still do the work in the community. I'm going to do the work in the community, and I'm going to ask to end the war on drugs. You feel me? Because like I said, it's what I'm offering to the community. And I'm showing you what your politicians are doing to you. That's Governor O'Malley's mind machine right here, November 2006. How long Tele Telebranch been in the office? How long Cheryl Glenn been in office? You feel me? How long McIntosh been in office? And it says it right here. We are the supporters of shorties. I petitioned my government to defend me. I petitioned my governor to defend me. And Governor Hogan left me in jail. But, boy, but you got, but Redmer has a insurance claim. We're talking about the militarization of our police department. Johnny Oleski asked for a federal investigation. You feel me? 